Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine, so congratulations to every Bitcoin hodler, we have a new all time high, we are hitting this $62,000 target that we had from this breakout out of this ascending triangle we met our target so congratulations my friends we had this nice explosive move to the upside so everyone that took this long over here congratulations and i also told you my friends that i would take profits up here at around sixty two thousand dollar if we would have uh, this breakout to the upside during the weekend because keep in mind that we had the cme close on friday here at fifty seven thousand two hundred fifty dollars so in my opinion, it is very likely that we're gonna retrace back down towards this $57,000, maybe even dip a little bit below before then we continue to go higher. Because since we now had this bullish breakout and here a new all time high, we are now back in our uptrend and you should consider to buy and long every dip that we are seeing now on the way to the upside because if we're gonna have the same performance like we did with these last big pushes to the upside after the last corrections, the next target would be up here at around $75,000. So until we're gonna reach here this final target, before then maybe we're gonna have another little pullback. I think uh, we're gonna see here, of course, uh, the price come back down towards the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame, which currently is here at around $58,000. And then of course, always bounce to the upside until we're gonna reach here our target of 75,000. It is also possible that maybe at the beginning of next week, we could see even a major drop, even below $57,000. And in that case, I would target here this previous resistance, which now is new support. And this is also where the 200 moving average in the four hours lining up right here at $52,000. So it is still possible that we could reach $52,000, but I definitely wouldn't miss out to start longing or buy more Bitcoin just because there is a risk that we could drop towards $52,000 because here at 57, we should have already enough support and this is also where I gonna enter another new long position and also try to buy a little bit more Bitcoin if we are reaching this $57,000 as soon as the CMEs are gonna start again because we had here a sell signal in the four hour time frame as you can see right at the top here usually we are trading the three hour time frame with my own indicator if you're trading here on TradingView or over on Discord because here you can get also access to my own indicator live stream for a little donation. And in the three hour time frame, we had here two very good buy signals and I closed it because uh, we were in entering the weekend. So I closed my long because of that reason. Uh, but of course, if you kept it alive, then now you would sit in some very nice profits. And what we're seeing right now, of course, is a sell signal. So we will most likely come back down towards the 20 moving average in the three hour at around $58,000. But there is a high chance that we could also drop down here towards 57,000, where of course we close the CMEs on Friday. So that's why I'm most likely gonna start to long again at $57,000 if we're coming down to this level to also close the CME gap that we would have on a Monday if we are staying here above 57,000. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna wait until we're gonna get another good buy signal in the three and four hour time frame. And if we go over into the daily time frame, you can see that currently we are a bit exhausted here and we could get very soon a sell signal here in the daily time frame, which usually means during an uptrend that we could come down to test the nine daily moving average here at 55,700 or maybe even the 20 daily moving average right at $52,000. And that's why my friends, even though it is very bullish and we should have a bullish outlook for the next week and the next coming weeks, there is still a high chance that before we're gonna start here to go parabolic towards 75,000 that we may be gonna see one last little leg down towards 57,000 maybe even towards here the 20 daily moving average at $52,000 because this is a possible target if here we're getting a sell signal in the daily but as I told you my friends the target is here to reach $75,000 now and that's why I'm pretty confident that we're gonna meet this target even though there is a high chance that maybe first we're coming down again towards $57,000 to $52,000 during this week and then gear up towards the end of March or beginning of April here to reach the target of around $75,000. 
So in all time frames, we are back in an uptrend and this uh, new all time high that we have seen during this weekend is very bullish and I'm expecting also to see new all time highs here on the CME chart during this week. But as I told you, there is still this chance at first we have to go down to fill the gap at $57,000, maybe even have a dip down here towards $52,000, but it's not guaranteed. So if you're still waiting to buy Bitcoin, if you don't have any Bitcoin, I would start already now to buy some, even though we could drop down here towards $57,000. But if you want to trade with high leverage over on Bybit or Femex, then of course I would wait until we're gonna see here this possible drop towards 57,000. And then as soon as the CMEs are opening again and we close that gap down to 57, then I think we're good to go long again. And of course, wait for a good buy signal in the four hour or three hour time frame. And what I want to show you again is here these uh, Bitcoin logarithmic growth curves and zones because as you can see we are leaving this yellow zone here and the next target would be to reach here this red zone up here between uh, 77,000 and 101,000 dollar. These growth curves they rise up day by day as long as Bitcoin is also pumping here so that's why I think as long as we are not entering in this red zone we are still safe and we still should see continuation here to the upside only once we are reaching this red zone here then of course we have to update the price levels here currently is here between 100 to $77,000 but once we are reaching this red zone then I think it might be a good idea to take a little bit of profits out just in case that we could see here a major sell-off maybe again down towards the yellow zone or maybe even towards the green zone that we can buy that crash that we can buy that dip if it happens because Bitcoin towards the end of the year in my opinion will go anyway way above 100k but if you are all in in Bitcoin and we're reaching this red zone already now and we are touching this 100k then I think we are a bit too early to go above 100k and this is where maybe you should take a bit of profits out if we are reaching this red zone in the next coming days and weeks and then of course accumulate more Bitcoin once we're gonna see again another um, big crash towards the yellow zone maybe even towards the green zone like this you can accumulate more Bitcoin and we can ride it up then together again towards new levels way above 100k so that's why I'm telling you my friends right now if we would reach 100k we are maybe too early and too fast but at the end anyway we will go way above 100k based on the stock to flow model price level and that's why I'm still very bullish and I'm still telling you to accumulate more Bitcoin even here at 60k we are still very cheap and this possible drop that we maybe could see again towards 57,000 to 52,000 dollar to also retest the previous all-time high resistance which now should be acting as a new support this is only relevant if you're trading over on Bybit and Femex with leverage otherwise if you're just buying for long term you can still accumulate right now at those prices because Bitcoin will anyway go higher and higher so at the end it doesn't matter if you're buying right now at 60k or at $40,000 if we drop down to those levels because it will be more important if you're gonna start to take profits at 100k or maybe at 400k that will be way more significant because even if you would buy now the absolute bottom but you would sell too early let's say at 100,000 instead of 400k then buying the dip wouldn't have helped uh, a lot because you would have sold too early so that's why we also need a very good exit strategy just to buy the next bear market just to buy the next coming dips to accumulate more Bitcoin it's all about to accumulate more Bitcoin if you're taking profits and not to go back into fiat because our goal is here always to accumulate more Bitcoin for the future because Bitcoin is the future Bitcoin is here to stay and that's why you definitely want to accumulate as much as possible before we are going to complete parabolic numbers way way above $400,000 in the next coming 5 to 10 years. So if you're buying for long term already now you should start to immediately buy more if you don't have enough Bitcoin yet and of course if you want to trade over on Bybit or Femex then wait for the CMEs to open again wait that the traditional markets are opening again because we most likely gonna come back down here towards $57,000 where we closed on Friday and then of course we're gonna see again continuation to the upside but keep in mind that we could even drop towards a 20 daily moving average at $52,000 
since in the daily time frame we are looking a bit exhausted but of course we can stay in this overbought condition maybe even up to $75,000 before then we're going to see a correction down to $57,000 so I definitely would give a very close eye on this $57,000 if you're looking for a good long entry because uh, I'm pretty bullish for this coming week and also for the next weeks that we're going to reach our target of $75,000 but of course on the way to the upside we also going to have some pullbacks and those pullbacks are always a great opportunity to go long and accumulate more Bitcoin. And before we're gonna wrap this up, I also wanna have a look quickly into the Ethereum price because also here on Ethereum, you can see that we have a very similar situation like on Bitcoin. We came up here to retest the all time high, similar like on Bitcoin, we just came very close to the all time high, same like we had yet in the last week for Bitcoin. We came very close to the old all time high, got rejected here, but then immediately we recovered and we created new all time highs. And this is what I think also could happen here in the ethereum price that we're gonna see exactly the same performance like on bitcoin during this uh, weekend so what i think what happens here is that as soon as here we're touching the nine daily moving average right at 1800 dollar that we also gonna have here a big move to the upside and potentially also here create new all-time highs same like in bitcoin during this week so ethereum is still lagging behind bitcoin so if you're late to trade bitcoin then watch out here for ethereum because ethereum is always a couple of days behind bitcoin so once bitcoin is doing a big move and you're too late to trade bitcoin i think then you can also go over to ethereum and trade ethereum since usually ethereum is perfectly copy bitcoin when bitcoin is leading the market and this is what we are seeing right now so take advantage of this chance that you have here to trade ethereum if you want to go long you can do this also over on femex and bybit because i think ethereum will also follow up with bitcoin especially if we're gonna start on monday with a bullish opening right at fifty seven thousand dollar and then have a big bounce from it again because as you can see also here in the spot chart in the daily time frame we had now the highest daily close ever here at six sixty one thousand three hundred forty dollars and that's why i'm pretty confident that here we're gonna see continuation to the upside and this pullback that we could see maybe later today or tomorrow you should take it as a good long and buy opportunity because you definitely don't want to fomo in then again here at seventy five thousand dollar once we're reaching here our next bullish target before maybe another correction towards sixty two thousand and then gear up again to reach potentially eighty to one hundred thousand dollar so we have a very very bullish outlook for the next coming weeks my friends so take it as a good buy and long opportunity we are probably gonna start to create day by day new all-time highs and you are still not too late to enter into this train towards 75,000. this new all-time high that we had this weekend was very bullish and uh, we should expect now this little correction back down towards fifty-seven thousand dollar, where we close the CMEs as a very good long and buy opportunity so we can enter into to a trade and then ride it up towards our bullish target of $75,000. So with that said guys, gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button. The more you click the like button, the higher the Bitcoin price is going. Also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. And if you want to join our community during this trading competition on Femex, then use the link down below here in the video description and also join our free Discord trading chat. You find the invitation link down below here in the video description. Once you have clicked on this invitation link, you have to go here to read first, then click on the thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. And like this, you have free access to our crypto trading chat. And if you also want to get access to the live stream indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, because like this, you can easily trade also with leverage over on Bybit or Femex. Then you have to contact me here with a private message like this. You can give a little donation to maintain this live stream alive. And otherwise, you can also use the membership options here on YouTube for a monthly subscription like this. You also get access to the live stream indicator here on Discord. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.